Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and Above AVL, and in this video, we're gonna talk about importing a sequence into X-Lights. If you're brand new to this hobby, importing a sequence means you went out and you got a sequence somewhere. For example, there's many people creating them where you can buy them and you know they've put in 40, 60, 80 hours of work making it perfect. And you know, you need to put in, you know, five minutes to a couple hours to make it look amazing on your house, right? So you save all that time for, you know, not a ton of money, and it could be a great deal. Other people love sequencing, love sequencing their own stuff and won't import much. However, importing can help you, for example, if you reuse an old song of yours from an old layout and you want to update it to new items, you can use the import process to do that. But the most common approach is you've got a file from someone that you've downloaded. There also is here in Tools, I believe it is. There's a Google Drive where you can get free sequences, but it's totally hiding from me right now. Oh, download sequences slash lyrics. You press that and... Oh, it shows up here now. And you see there's all kinds of great stuff in here. You know, these are freely created by people. So, you know, uh, they're, you know, you're going to get what you get. Some of these are amazing. Some of them are not amazing, but they are free. There are paid ones, which, you know, generally are higher quality, but sometimes the free ones are just as good. All that to say, let's import a sequence. So you're going to download a sequence and you're going to either get a .zip file, that's the first type, or number two, you're going to get a, um, oh, what is the file type? A .x something. It's new this year, so don't mess with me. Um, but there's an excellent sequence file now that you can download, and it's great. It's the same thing, but it's, it's a little more helpful. We're going to go here to import. And then, sorry, we need to be on a sequence. So we're going to first create a new sequence. Let's start there. So create a sequence, go musical sequence, assuming it's a musical sequence. Then you're going to go into your sequences, for example, and I'm just going to grab a song here. This is not going to match what we import. I'm going to create a frames per second. So I'm going to choose 40 here again, 20, 40 doesn't matter too much. It, it can matter, but you know, 40 is, is becoming the standard more and more uh, here into the future. Quick start. Okay, so this creates a totally blank sequence with all my stuff in it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and import, import effects. So this is where you go and get that old sequence. So as I mentioned, like here are all my sequences from my show uh, this year. If I was bringing in a old sequence that I'd used before, but maybe I'd change my layout specifically, you can grab one of these sequences and run through the process. And it can be helpful like if you, if, again, if your layout's changed a lot, but you're reusing an old sequence and you want to build on it, then uh, bringing it in this way is better than just opening it because it allows you to kind of remap things to how you've got them laid out now. But what I'm going to do instead is go to my Dropbox where I have a bunch of sequences from PPD Pixel Pro Displays. They're great. They're friends. They didn't pay for this or anything. We go here and, for example, we're just going to go grab Mr. Heat Miser. And then we come up with this. Okay, so there's a number of things here. There's some options and various things. We're not gonna go through all of that in depth here, but essentially there's a few things that go on here that are super helpful. Number one is you can see there's a number of things in blue here and there's a number of things over here. And those are things that match up or that have aliases that match up, meaning I, I matched it up before with another sequence and Exalates kind of saved that reference as what's called an alias because I, I accepted that. Okay, so when things match up perfectly in name between the layout of the sequencer and your layout, then you can go ahead and just hit auto map and those things will come over automatically and they'll match up to your show directly. This is where it's a good point to note that um, you can, with a sequence zip file, double click on that file and open it, or if it's, a, if it's the new type, but if it's a zip file, you can unzip it and open it. And it will open if you, you know, are clicking on that, that sequence file, the XSQ file from Xlights, or if it's even older, it could be um, some other formats. But, but you double click that and it will open in the creator's layout. Um, that can be helpful to kind of jot down or look at, hey, you know, they've got a group called this, it matches up with my house that. 
But for the basics, what you want to do is you want to get everything that's over here, okay, on their layout into your layout, if at all possible. And so what we're going to do for the stuff that didn't automatically line up is we'll go ahead and find some stuff here. So like they have a matrix, I have a matrix, right? Um, it's not going to actually line up very well. They have a mega space tree. I have a mega tree. Okay, that lined up. Um, but then there's other things that may not line up. Like I have my porch columns here. Hey, that would line up well with the matrices, the matrices in there. So I'm going to drag that over. And, and so you can see as I drag things over, I essentially want to get as many of my things, at least the main groups, lined up with their things. And, and you can spend some time doing this, and it's definitely helpful to do. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, hit update aliases with maps. So that's going to save all those aliases that I talked about um, so that in the future, hitting auto map will just work. And then I'm going to press OK. All right. Now, you can go ahead, and this is bugging you about this, to save your map before you actually do this. So that allows you to save your mapping from, in this case, Pixel Pro Display's layout to my layout, save exactly how everything matches up. The, the new alias function is kind of taking that over, but it can be helpful. And hey, a backup never hurts, right? Um, so I could go here, I could save my map. And so then I'll just say PPD mapping version 1-2-2025. Okay, press okay. And then boom, like magic, you see a whole bunch of effects on your layout, which is everything that they created. And it's all going to play through and it's all going to work. Now, some, some big keys here are, you see, for example, we have a video file here, okay? And the video files only work when you import from the zip file or from the Xlight sequence file, okay? So you definitely want to do that. That's really key. And then everything's going to work great. Other than that, then you just got to let it render or hit save and uh, force it to render, okay, which I won't do here. And then you'll be able to play it, see it on your display and work with it. Those are the basics of importing a sequence. If you enjoyed this, then you'll really like our full Warren Christmas Lighting Academy. And you can get more info by downloading our free guide, the four things I really wish I knew before I started in Learn Christmas in Christmas Lighting, over at learnchristmaslighting.com. Then, when you need gear in this hobby, you need lights, you need controllers, you need power supplies, you need extensions, aboveavl.com is your place to get it. We've got our Christmas page where you can just get everything you need uh, for Christmas lighting at great prices every day. We try to have amazing quality products and still be compatible, comparable on prices, especially when you buy in bulk uh, with everything you need kind of all at once. And you can catch that all at aboveavl.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Thanks.